Can artificial intelligence replace gun tubers? That is the question we are answering today on Administrative Results. Yo, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, the talking green Craig Hopper button up shirt. Today we're answering the question Could AI replace gun tubers? If you live under a rock and are unfamiliar with AI, artificial intelligence has become rather prominent within the last year or so, especially with the advent of ChatGPT. If AI is left unchecked, it poses a quote, risk of extinction. It has threatened a lot of jobs. Writers, editors, a lot of writing or underwriter. Much smarter people have explained it a lot better than I have. A lot of the art side of it is getting rather advanced. So we did a little bit more of a simpler video and we just did some prompts to see if AI could give us a good gun tube episode. So we have a simple prompt and then we have a more advanced prompt. So I guess I'm actually kind of excited because I don't know the results of this one. So I say we dive on in to find out the results. The administrative results. But before we do that, We'll tell you about what we first did. So we first typed it into Bard. Now Bard could read the internet better than what ChatGPT could. We asked if it was familiar with who I am and this is what it said. Yes, I am familiar with the YouTube channel Administrative Results. It is a channel that produces gun reviews, history videos, and other gun related content. The channel has over 1 million subscribers. Guys, we made it! Oh my gosh, I finally got a million subs. Thanks Bard. And has been uploading videos since 2017. I, I'm also three years early to the game. I started my channel in 2020, but Bard thinks I started in 2017. What the f The channel's creator is a man named James Reeve. I've been James Reeve this whole time. Oh. <laughs> so clearly, Bard thinks I'm way more handsome than I truly am, which is kind of nice. I wouldn't mind being as handsome as James Reeves, but sadly, I am not James Reeves. I don't have a million subs, and my channel started in 2020. So we ended up going with ChatGPT, and we used those two prompts I mentioned earlier, of one being simpler and one being more advanced. Come on. First prompt, intro, cinematic upbeat music playing in the background. Shot of the Continental indoor flat range. Slow motion shots of the Car 15 rifle, highlighting its features. Narrator, welcome to the Arizona Gilbert Continental indoor flat range where we're about to showcase the incredible Car 15 rifle. Get ready for an action packed experience. Okay, hold on. I don't talk like this. Colton, I don't talk like this, bro. Come on, man. What are we doing here? Think you're gonna try and replace me with some sort of AI robot? Get the hell out of here. Intro, talking head segment. Host standing in front of the camera holding the Car 15 rifle. Hey there, gun enthusiasts. I'm Aaron, and today we have a special treat for you. Today we're gonna deep dive into the Car 15. Exploring its history, capabilities, and how it performs in various scenarios. So let's get started. Background info on the CAR-15. Cut to images of the CAR-15 rifle. Narrator, the CAR-15 rifle has a rich history dating back to the Vietnam War. Originally developed as a compact variant of the M16, it gained popularity in its lightweight design and excellent maneuverability. Today, it continues to be a favorite among shooters for reliability and versatility. That's actually a good one. I like, I like that line. That was fun. Reliability and versatility. I might actually steal that one because it kind of like rhymes, you know? The CAR-15 excels in a variety of scenarios. Whether you're engaged in close quarters combat, navigating tight spaces, or need a reliable rifle for home defense, the CAR-15 is a top contender. Its compact size and ease of handling make it perfect for those situations where mobility is crucial. Shooting drills. Host demonstrating drills with the CAR-15. We'll be doing a few shooting drills to showcase its accuracy, control, and overall performance. As you can see, the CAR-15 offers excellent control with minimal recoil, allowing for quick follow-up shots and precise engagement. Now imagine you have the perfect sex bot you ever want. It goes, it gets you groceries, it does everything you want. It, it, it satisfies all your carnal desires. Yeah, okay. We're getting taken out by sex bots because they're gonna not let us breed, dude. 
No! Sexbot T1000 never nags, never does anything he doesn't like. Now you have to deal with a real woman? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not happening. You tell me, hey, we're fighting T1000 death bots. I'm like, yeah, I'm up in arms. Hey, we're fighting T1000 sex bots. You start to question why. What the sex bot ever do to you, man? I'm waiting for Elon Musk to make cat girls. I mean, I did promise yep. the internet that I'd make cat girls. Final thoughts. Host holding the car, ho host holding the car 15 rifle, looking at the, into the camera. After spending some quality time with the car 15, I must say it lives up to its reputation. It's reliable, versatile, and an accurate rifle. Perfect for those seeking a compact yet powerful firearm. Whether you're a professional or recreational shooter, the Car 15 is definitely worth considering. Closing shots at the Continental Indoor Flat Range, upbeat music fades out. Host, thanks for joining us on this exciting Car 15 adventure. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content. Until next time, stay safe and keep shooting. I don't know, man. This one seems kind of cheese dick. I say we try another one. So obviously the first script was kind of simple. I say we try the advanced script out now. All right, we got the second script. This one looks a little bit more advanced. So um, without further ado, upbeat music starts as the video opens with high energy cinematic sequence. The car 15 is shown in slow motion set against a backdrop of explosions. And I don't have the budget for explosions. What the hell? Narrator wearing tactical gear. Welcome fellow gun enthusiasts to the administrative results. Today we're at the Continental Gilbert indoor shooting range to go over the CAR-15. Get ready to rock and roll. Buckle up because this retro beast is about to blow your mind. Blow your mind. I hate it. I hate, I don't. This isn't, this isn't how I talk. I didn't say that. I didn't do that. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about any of this. Intro to talking head segment. The camera transitions to admin, who is standing in front of a vibrant backdrop featuring the Car 15 and the Continental Gilbert logo. Energetic music plays in the background. Admin. Hey, 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 what's up everyone? Admin here, your go-to gun tuber for all things Car 15. Is that the line? <laughs> Oh, it's all things awesome. Hey, 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 what's up everyone? Admin in the house, your go-to gun tuber for all things awesome. Today we're going over the legendary Car 15. So sit back, relax, and prepare to be amazed. So did you guys know that car stands for cool as heck and reliable? <laughs> okay, that one's actually, I actually like that line. God damn it, I like that one. Okay, I may have actually made that one up, but it actually may work. Now let's talk history, man. The Car 15 was a go-to gun for those bad boys. Bad boy counter. I mean the Special Forces and Reconnaissance Units during the Vietnam War. They carried this baby through the dense jungles like a real life Rambo. <laughs> And guess what? It's seen action in all kinds of places. From the scorching sands of the Middle East to the chill vibes of the Arctic. Who the fuck says that? This gun's been everywhere. All right, enough chit chat. Let's see this baby in action. We're gonna start with a gotta go fast drill. Engaging those targets as quickly as humanly possible. Cue the epic music. <laughs> Woo! Did you see that? Lightning fast. The car 15's like lightning in my hands. Talk about a rush. I've shot many guns. You think the car 15 is gonna like get me excited? I, come on, at this point in the game, I've been shot at by an MG42. Do you really think like, woo, talk about a rush. All right, Skynet. Another drill, optional. And sprint towards the first target at 10 yards. As soon as you reach the 10 yard target, engage it with three rounds as quickly and accurately as possible. Reload. After engaging the first target, perform a tactical reload and move swiftly to the 20 yard target. At the 20 yard target, engage it with four rounds, move and finish. After hitting the 20 yard target execute another tactical reload while making your way to the final target at 30 yards at the 30 yard target take your time and fire a single well-aimed shot I mean, those drills sound kind of fun Oh, that's an A zone. We're good. 
All right, folks, you've seen the Car 15. It's a total blast. Retro guns like this want to have a certain charm, you know? I mean, I do kind of talk like that. I'll give them that. They've got history, character, and just feel right. It's like driving a classic car, but with bullets. Plus, they're perfect for those pop culture references, you know? Like quoting your favorite action heroes before taking that shot. yippee ki yay motherfucker! That's a wrap, my gun-toting pals. The Car 15 showcased its awesomeness at the Continental Gilbert Indoor Flat Range. If you love this video as much as I love shooting this bad boy, make sure you smash that like button and hit subscribe to join the admin squad. Hit that subscribe button to join the admin squad. And don't forget to drop your favorite retro gun or meme reference in the comments down below. Until next time, keep rocking and keep rolling. Outro music plays as the camera does a quick zoom out showing admin give a thumbs up with the car 15 slung over his shoulder. The screen fades to black with the administrative results logo appearing along with a quirky pop culture soundbite. <laughs> What the hell is this video? Well, gentlemen, I think there is a conclusion and some takeaways real quick. So we've already seen how AI has been threatening the jobs of a lot of people now. They took our job. Now there's even writer strikes and actor strikes going along with those, with the advent of AI and how is that going to tie into the creative space? And that's an excellent question. Now, am I qualified or certainly, um, am I that guy to take on that question? You're not that guy, pal, trust me. You're not that guy. Ah, probably not, I'm a big dummy, but I was curious how would it would affect my job in particular, you know, with all the talk of it taking jobs, you know, especially in the creative space. Well, I think that it's not there yet. It may have potential down the road, but I think there is something nice about the gun crowd where the gun crowd is a lot of times a counterculture crowd. Yeah, society may be saying one thing about us, but we often a lot of times go against the grain. So I think we have that going for us there. We also, we meme it a lot, but we talk about Ted Kaczynski and how the industrial revolution has had dire consequences for the human race. And though he wasn't right all the time, that definitely is a banger of a line. So there's something there on that one. Yeah, also being a terrorist isn't cool. I'm not saying like, hey, good job, Teddy K. I gotta be like real, real Z's for like one second. So there is something to it. There is something to be said about, you know, the modern world and how it's gonna integrate with what's going on. I think the prompts we had to put in were so intricate for what it is now. It wasn't like, make me a YouTube celebrity. It wasn't like that simple. It's like, I can't do that. We had to really prompt it. We had to give it a lot of info. We tried one that could read my channel, but with Bard, but it couldn't even read my channel correctly. It called me James Reed. I wish I was as handsome as James Reeve, but alas, I am not. I'm working on it. James, if you see this, you handsome devil. So, in conclusion, gentlemen, I think AI is probably a threat to a lot of jobs out there. I don't think it's a threat to my job in particular because I think we always need some degree of a meat bag that knows how to handle a firearm to yell at a camera in a schizophrenic fashion. Gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Your comments are a sacrifice to Skynet, who plans on taking me out any day now. So I appreciate it. If you wanna support the channel in any way, shape or form, Patreon is an excellent way to support the channel as well as merchandise. They really do help out. Gentlemen, I have nothing else for you. Stay easy, stay breezy. I'll catch you on the flip. <laughs> God damn it. Bloopers, bloopers. Hey, there needs to be bloopers at the end of every video, okay? When there's not bloopers at the end of the video, I get kind of upset because when I watch this back, like don't look at the camera, look at me, come on. When I watch this back, I want some freaking bloopers, okay? This can work as a blooper. Do you want this to work as a blooper? You're watching this. If you've made it this far and you're watching this blooper, what the hell are you doing with your life? I guess you're watching me, which is kind of nice. I, that's all you get. <laughs>